بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اما بعد حبت في الله الزواج or marriage in islam is entering into a sacred bond with your spouse meaning the husband with the wife meaning a man and a woman or the woman with a man with the conditions for nikah being in place that there's a wali a guardian for the woman that there are two witnesses and that this sacred bond is made to last bi'idnillah and when choosing a spouse the muslim man or the muslim woman should be very cautious or careful because especially those of us who reside in western societies and come from the background in which we have come from that we're used to interacting with the opposite sex we're used to knowing one another before this sacred bond takes place and because Islam prohibits us from the free mixing and the dating it's important to know the kind of look for certain characteristics you know know what you are looking for within a spouse and having some time by knowing the family if they have a, a Muslim family or whoever their family is it's it's good if there's the potential to know something about the family to know that the family that you're marrying into and what's imperative and Allah knows best and this is from the point of advice because we have a different society than for example even the society that our ulama come from you know from the traditional muslim societies so our issues that we face are often have a different complexity whereas they have families and tribes to turn to we don't have those those institutions so therefore it's imperative to choose someone that you have perhaps even compatible goals and that also you want to make sure that along with those goals is that you enter into that bond wholeheartedly with the intention to last and that there is a degree of compromise because without that compromise as the ulama have said without that compromise and that ability to assist one another when times are difficult then you narrow the chances for success and one of the ulama we visited in Medina and he mentioned about a great alim who has several wives and how he dis escalated the situation between one of his wives when she was angry and we'll discuss that on another occasion we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good forgive our evil sallallahu alaihi wasallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wasallam